is ready to do it. You think you're out of time, but you don't know God. Do you ever get tired of singing God praise? I began to tell him these words. I've been singing so long. Singing so long. After a while, I yes. I've been singing. vaccinated for her. COVID was crazy. When my sister got COVID for two weeks, the only way that I could talk to her was through a doorway. Imagine that, having to quarantine from each, each other. other. Yeah, it was odd. We do everything together. We, we even, even finish, finish each other's senses. We got vaccinated. We even keep up with our boosters. That's right. Staying safe is our top priority. So I got vaccinated for her, and I got vaccinated for her. Have you been vaxxed? For more information on where you can find vaccination and booster sites in your area, visit communityprojectinc.org. This project is funded under a grant contract with the state of Tennessee. Protect yourself this season. Wash your hands, avoid close contact, and get vaccinated. COVID-19 vaccines are the first step to getting back to the things we miss most. 
hanging out with friends, opening a new business, hugging our loved ones. Stay safe. Get Vax Tennessee. For more information on where you can find vaccination and booster sites in your area, visit communityprojectinc.org. This project is funded under a grant contract with the state of Tennessee. As the world opens up, so do we. As we travel from place to place, we must remember to protect our space. The COVID-19 vaccine has been proven to reduce severe symptoms and illness associated with the COVID-19 virus. Whether you're on a boat or a train, a bus or a plane, do your best to get the vaccine. Get Vax Tennessee. For more information on where you can find vaccination and booster sites in your area, visit communityprojectinc.org. This project is funded under a grant contract with the state of Tennessee. Okay, if he's done nothing for you, you don't have to clap your hands at all. But he blessed you to wake up this morning. Started you on your way. What a God I serve on tonight. Somebody shout glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're going to have uh, our call to invocation. It's coming by Superintendent Ernest Washington. Is he here? We, we can't move on just a little bit to see where everybody is. Give me one of them C-sharp things, man. All right. I'm a soldier. Y'all know that? Soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. invocation is coming at this time and we will stand from Superintendent Ernest Washington from the Ripley District Old Testament reading will be from Superintendent Oliver Haney from Atlanta uh, the Thrive District and New Testament reading 
will come from Chairman Sean Calhoun. Say amen for them as they come. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and help me thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you right now. Thank you right now, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for the mind. Thank you. Lord, we want to thank you for all leave all week long. Lord, you've been with us. Been through us, Lord. Shield us and protect us. Kept us as we went down the rough and dangerous highways. Blessing us to go in and out of the hotels. In and out of our home doors. Lord, you've been good to us in this meeting, Lord. You met us every night. You met us every day. Lord, we've been blessed. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you've done for us, Lord. When we go back home, Lord, we're going back healed. We're going back with strength. We're going back, Lord, with a mind made up, a mind to serve you. Thank you. But thank you, Jesus. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Somebody come tonight wounded in their spirit. Somebody came tonight, heavy in their heart. But oh God, you're still on the throne. You're still on the throne, Lord. Send your healing power. Send it in right now. In the name of Jesus, we're saying yes to you. We're saying yes to you. Yes to your way. Yes to your word. Yes, we'll obey. Yes, Lord, cancel out everything. That's not like you. Lord, we love you tonight. We glorify you tonight. We lift you up tonight. Nobody like you, Jesus. Come on and tell him yes. Come on and tell him yes. Come on and tell him yes, Lord. Come on and tell him yes, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in this service. Have your way, Lord, in this house. In the name of Jesus, bless everyone that come through the doors. Bless everyone, Lord, to make a clear passage here. In the name of Jesus, look on us, Lord. Right now, God, look on our leader. Look on our leader, Lord. Bishop Porter, right now. Touch him right now, God. Something going on right now. But touch him right now, Lord. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. In the name of Jesus. Uh, only you can do uh, what we can't do for ourselves. Uh, oh, Jesus, uh, 
Have your way, Lord. Bind the devil on every hand. Cast the devil out of the mind. Cast the devil out now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, devil. You got to flee right now. Go back to the depths of hell from which you came. Come on and tell him yes, Lord. Lift your hands and tell him yes, Lord. Come on and tell him yes, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way tonight. Oh, God. Oh, the weather's inclement on the outside. But, oh, God, let your ladder rain fall on the inside. Bless those that are on their way. Lord, give them traveling mercy over the wet and highways, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we'll give you the praise and we'll bless your name wherever we go. We'll tell men and women and boys and girls everywhere that it pays to serve you. In Jesus' name, come on and put your hands together. Come on and glorify the Lord. Come on and glorify the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verses 12 through 14. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. From the book of Acts, familiar with all of us, unto all of us, excuse me. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, thank you, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it Fill the house. Ha, thank you. Where they were sitting. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. This is official night of the convoc of the workers' meeting. Everyone say official night. Amen. And our hymn of praise. Uh, I, we would not have praise and worship, but we're going to have a congregation on him. Those you all have a program. It's in the program. This is the workers' meeting. And we're going to sing the hymn, Count on Me. If you have your programs and want to lift your voices. Here we go. The Lord hath need of workers. The Lord hath need of workers to till his field today. So kindly he has led me to walk in wisdom's way. I pray for grace to help me. With all my heart to say, oh blessed Savior, count on me. Come on, let's sing the verse. Oh. Thanks. 
how I'm done. Amen. You know how I'm done. Y'all don't, y'all don't start nothing. It won't be nothing. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, ain't no how I'm done. Giving God the praise. Ain't no harm done. Bless the Lord. We're going to do our statement of faith. And your last page of your program. Everyone should have a program. I'll read the leader portion. You read the congregation portion. We'll read, we'll read the last together. Amen. We have it. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We believe the Bible. We affirm our faith in God. We believe that there is one God. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We believe the blessed hope. We affirm our faith in repentance. We believe that the only means of being saved from sin is through repentance and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in salvation. We believe that the salvation by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost, according to the Acts of the Lord, is able to believe in the Holy Ghost. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe that the sanctifying power of the Holy Ghost by indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life. Amen. Amen. We affirm. Amen. Bless the Lord for administrator James won't you clap your hands and receive our bishop as he comes in that's the Lord you may be seated praise God we thank God for superintendent and Anthony Taylor my God what a preach word we heard on last night my Lord, you should have been here. If you wasn't here, you should have been here. You should have been enough noise made within this jurisdiction to celebrate everything all throughout the church, uh, the way that man preached. And, of course, we can't leave out, uh, well, Superintendent John Smith, Administrative Assistant John Smith. We thank God for him uh, on tonight as well. Some great speakers and Sister S uh, Missionary Sago, and uh, Pastor Wright's wife on Monday night. We had an awesome time all week long. Now, 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 one thing. Now, when I was, when I went to the parties, and I, I know some of y'all didn't go because y'all just left heaven two weeks ago. But when I was at the parties, I made sure everybody knew what was happening that week. And what's coming up the next week, praise God. But y'all sitting here like y'all don't, well, what are you talking about? Who, who, who are you talking about? Who, who is Superintendent Taylor? Who are these folk? My God, you ought to put your hands together and celebrate the leadership of our jurisdictional leader. Praise God. And again, put your hands together and let's praise God for the one and only Bishop Brandon Porter. God bless him. Praise God. But they can't help it because you make us, you love, you, you loved us before we loved you. <laughs> Come on, tell God thank you, y'all. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. And at this time, uh, 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 Superintendent Taylor asks that all of the pastors, elders, if y'all could move in this section, if you possibly can, to move over here. And uh, sometimes pastors and elders don't want to take certain things, but they can stay there. Um, all right. 
Bishop said they can stay there. Okay. I was trying to follow some orders as well. Praise God. But thank God for your sweet spirit, pastors over here. Thank God for you. Praise God. At this time, we're going to hear from one of the greatest jurisdictional choirs you can hear. Not only on this side of the Mississippi River, on the other side of the Mississippi River, and even on this side of the Tennessee River. Praise God. We're not talking about choirs from New York and other places like that. We're talking about the leadership under Elder Zacchaeus Hayslip. Put your hands together and celebrate our music department, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. Put your hands together.
this convocation. I want you to know that I have enjoyed this convocation. And that little man over there, that little bitty fella sitting right there in that purple thing, Lord, he made me cry last night, taking me back to where I was and where I am now. Praise God. The Word will do that for you. I said the Word will do it for you. Praise God. Didn't say it, but let me say it this. We've been saying this week, we thank God for the fragrance of our jurisdiction. Somebody ought to praise God for Sister International First Lady, Melanie Porter. Praise God. 
Praise God for her, y'all. Sweet lady that knows how to carry herself and knows what to do, when to do it. Praise God. Thank God for this great mother. Uh, I don't see her husband over there. He said, now y'all, I don't call her mother at home. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't blame him. Talk about your wife, man. But we thank God for Mother Pepina on today. Let's celebrate her, you all. Praise God. We thank God for you, dear. Your leadership with the women department and all that you do. And we thank God for all of the women that support Mother Pepina uh, in this day and time. And you got some great, you got some great district missionaries. Got some great district missionaries. Mother Woods, oh, bless you, Mother Woods. Bless you. I got some great missionaries over there. But there's no missionary like Naomi Griffin. <laughs> Woo! Anybody from Bolivar here? All right. Yes, Lord. We thank God for your district missionary. Praise God. At this time, we're going to get ready for our ministry of giving. Hello. Hello. You ought to be glad that I got something to give. I want to give. Praise God. I want to be a blessing to my leader on tonight. I'm going to let you. Come on, you. Tell us what we're going to do, and we'll go from there. Say amen for Superintendent Preaching Machine Taylor. God bless you. Come on, let's clap our hands and give God one more praise for our workers meeting. I'm here to receive. Today is our official night of the workers meeting. Everyone say your official night. And I say of God, we have heard this jurisdiction has been in existence for over 40 years. And so we know what to do on tonight. I got one yes from Mother Woods. I said we know what to do on tonight. Constitutionally, the Church of God in Christ uh, provides two meetings where we are a, bit, a blessing to our jurisdictional leader. That's during the workers' meeting and during the Holy Convocation. And saints of God, tonight we've come to be a blessing to Bishop Porter. I don't know if I'm like you, I'm like Superintendent Norman. I am excited about what God has done on this week here in this workers' meeting. Amen? I want to share with you, I believe that when people, when the saints come together, miracles happen. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say when the saints come together, miracles happen. And I know a lot of you may not be experiencing a miracle here in Jackson, but let me tell you what happened on my way to church real quickly as you get ready to receive the offering. I received a text from one of my elders, Elder McCray, and he texted me. He said, Pastor, he said, I truly need all the prayers there is because right now my wife uh, is in the hospital and she's been admitted and the doctors have found a mass on her brain. And they are still testing, and they've done a CAT scan, and now they're getting ready to do an MRI. I sent him a video prayer. Instead of me praying, oh, and call, I tried calling him, he didn't answer the phone, so I sent a video prayer. And I said, God, you're the same God in Chattanooga as you're here in Jackson, Tennessee. And I said, God, I said in my prayer, your word declares that you're the God of all flesh, and there's nothing too hard for you. And so I said this in my prayer, Mother. I said, Lord, I ask you what they thought they saw when they checked it again. Don't let them see it. I said, God, and I thank you in advance for doing it. An hour later, he texts me. An hour later, he texts me. And he said, Pastor, God is good. The doctor just came in and said what they thought they said they saw is gone. The CT scan, the CT scan showed a mass the size, the size of a civil dollar, but the MRI came back and the mass is gone. Now you might not know Elder McCray, but I need you in this house to open up your mouth and give God a shot. Come on, saints of God. You don't know what's going on in your body right now. But I decree and declare that healing is in the room. Matter of fact, do me a favor, touch three people around you and say, be healed, be delivered, and be set free. You're touching the wrong person. Touch somebody else and tell them, be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Hey, 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 hey. 
just dancing and trot because of the music. Y'all please sit down. Y'all sit down. Whew. I got to receive this offering. Whoo, God. Y'all please sit down. Y'all please sit down. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I am Thank you, Lord. Just wave that right hand and say, thank you, Lord. Come on, just wave that right hand again and say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, tonight, I want to challenge your faith tonight. Hey, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Tonight, I want you, I want to challenge your faith. Uh, Pastor Murphy, please don't do that no more. Please stop. Please stop, please stop. Mother Wilson, y'all stop, y'all stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all, y'all stop, y'all please stop. Y'all please stop. Don't play nothing else, don't play nothing else. Don't play nothing else. Y'all stop. Y'all don't. Y'all stop. Y'all calm down. Y'all. Y'all get some act right. Y'all get some act right. Hallelujah. And we give you glory. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we give God glory and we give him praise. I, 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 I'm not trying, I'm not trying to, to squash your praise, but I need to receive the offering on tonight. Those you saints of God, I know we've given all week long. Many of us have given our pledges. Let me, let me say this. I want to thank you all on behalf of our leader for supporting our jurisdiction. Can you praise God for all of you all who have supported in your, in your pledges and your giving? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting the vision of our leader. And those of you who are watching, can we praise God for our online audience? Those who are watching us on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you. Many of you all have sown while watching. You've been, your faith has been challenged. And tonight, I want to challenge your faith again. Now again, I honor the Lord for our bishop and for all of our leaders in our jurisdiction. But tonight, we're here to be a, to be a blessing to our leader. And I know I've given my wife and I, we, give our, we, we gave our pledge. We pledged, uh, I pledged $900. My wife pledged $100. And I've been giving every night and day doing this workers meeting because I came here to be a blessing. I came here to support the meeting. And tonight when the Lord, when I was found out that I was going to receive the offering tonight, I began to ask God, God, what should I give? The Lord spoke to my heart and told me to go the extra mile. The Lord told me to go extra tonight. And if, and if you don't have it, I'm not talking to you. If you don't want to give it, I'm not talking to you. Because I found out many people, they have it, but they don't want to give it. Y'all quiet in here. They have it, but they don't want to give it. But I'm praying tonight that God will touch your heart. I believe that when we sow and bless the man of God, I know that because my life, because I've sown to the man of God, my life has been blessed and enriched. And tonight the Lord spoke to me, and I wish, I wish I could get at least, at least, at least, I know, I know our executive board is going to try to help us or do this, but I'm going to sow a seat tonight of $200 tonight. And I would, some of you executive board members, and I know we always wait for the executive board members and pastors, but there are some lay members out there. Many of you all did not get, uh, did not uh, give a pledge, and many of y'all did not pay a pledge. But tonight you had that seed tonight of two hundred dollars. I want to challenge you tonight to get it. I want you to challenge. I want to challenge you tonight to get it. And as many of y'all say, "Well, Pastor, I paid my pledge, Pastor Taylor, but I, I, I'm going to sow. I'm going to sow this seed not just into the conference of the two in one conference, because you must understand that we are. This is two conferences in one." This is the women's convention, but it's also our workers' meeting. And God bless our bishop who had the foresight to put in these conferences together so we only have two separate conferences. So that's why we're asking to give tonight. But those of you saying, Pastor Taylor, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe God. I'm going to sow this seed into the life of Bishop Brandon B. Porter. Those of you can stand with me and sow that seed of $200. I want you to stand with me real quickly and give that seed. Those of you can stand and give that seed. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Superintendent Barnes. Though I, if you'd like to acknowledge your gift, I will. But thank you so much so much for sowing that seed of $200 tonight. God bless Pastor Superintendent Superintendent Washington who's giving that on tonight. God bless Pastor uh, Chairman Calhoun and also Pastor Pastor Singleton. If you'd like for me to acknowledge your seed, I gl gladly will. If you want to give tonight, you're saying, Pastor Taylor, I don't have check or cash, but I have givelify. God bless Superintendent Irons. God bless you, sir. God bless Bishop Barber who's giving it on cash app. Our cash app is dollar sign TN Central. Dollar sign TN Central. I want you to get that seed. If you want to give by Giblify, look for the Tennessee Central Jurisdiction. Thank you so much, Administrative Assistant Norman. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Superintendent Ariel Williams been giving that seed. If you want to give that seed, God bless our supervisor who's giving that seed on tonight. Bless you, Mother, who's giving that seed. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop Fisher, who's also sowing that seed. God bless Superintendent Haney. Amen. Who is those who, God bless you, Superintendent, who's also sowing that seed on tonight. You're saying, Pastor Taylor, I don't have cash or check, but I want to give out debit or credit card. If you want to give out debit or credit card, you can receive it over there and give it over there. But you're saying, Pastor Taylor, I don't have the seed of $200, but I have a seed of $100. I have a seed of $50. This is what I want you to do. I want you to get your very best seed. God bless you, Pastor Murphy, for giving that seed of $100. Those who can sow that seed of $100 or, or $50, whatever seed, I want you to get your very best gift and stand to your feet all over the building. God bless our leading lady. God bless Lady Melody Porter, who's also sowing that seed tonight. We love and thank God for her. I want you to get your very best seed and stand to your feet all over the building. God bless, God bless Pastor, Pastor Wright giving $250 as well as $200 as well. 
I want you to get that seat, Pastor, my friend, Pastor Daniel, so on that seat of $100 tonight. Some of you pastors, I will, I will that every pastor or elder in here, every pastor and elder, if you would get that seat of $100 and get it, those pastors, those elders, and stand to your feet with that seat. Those you are saying, Pastor Taylor, I don't have that seat of 50 or 100, but I have 20, I have 10, I have 5. I want everyone in here to get a seat in your hand. Those you who are watching us online, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to sow and to the man of God. This is good ground. Bishop Brendan B. Porter is great ground to sow into. So I want to get that seed. Uh, everyone standing to your feet. God bless. God bless Superintendent Pepina giving $200 on tonight. Whatever seed you're going to give, I want you to stand to your feet. Whatever seed you're going to give. If you don't have a seed to give, I want you to stand for the prayer. If you have the ability to stand, I want you to stand for the prayer. God bless you. Those of you who are giving on tonight. Do me a favor. Take that seed and wave it in this atmosphere of faith. Father, we thank you for the gift and for the giver. And God, someone tonight has given their very last. But God, as we sow this seed into ministry, I pray now, God, that you multiply it some 30, some 60, some 100, and even according to Deuteronomy 1 and 11, bless us some a thousandfold. God, we decree as a, as a result of this seed, we should have rebates and refunds, checks in the mail and promotions on our jobs. And God, we decree and declare that we're sowing into good ground. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please don't take your seats, but follow the inside, those who are left and right on the ends. If you would face the aisle and come down the aisle from the rear and, and go back by the wall and those you in the center, if you would go and face my left, your right and go down the aisle and come back to your seat. That's what I did. Once again, we're asking those of you who are sewing online. Again, TN Central, dollar sign, TN Central, cash app. Also, Givelify, we want you to give Tennessee Central. Also, go to our website, you give on PayPal. God bless you. Pastor Washington, Superintendent Washington, let's combine that because we have special, a special presentation 
we're we need a basket for this special presentation that's coming from all the way from our, we, our, our women's department. Let's receive at this time our supervisor of women who's going to come. Who's going to come? Or I'm sorry, Miss Mother Trammell is coming. Come on, Mother Trammell is coming. We do give honor to God tonight, and the house has been properly addressed. But we do give deference to our Bishop Porter and First Lady Porter and to our beautiful supervisor. So now we're going to ask Bishop, will you stand, please? As we say in our presentations, Bishop, that you are a giant among men. Also, you are a giant among giants. And when Mother was making the announcement in regards to how the women department was going to bless you, I said unto night, we want you to stand so tall that even when you get home, you have to bow your head to get into the door. <laughs> So we want to bless you, man of God. So the women department mother, Shirley Papina, please stand. And all the women of Tennessee Central and those that's bringing presentations, please come down now as we show love and shower love to our Jewish Dixture prelate, Bishop Brandon Porter. <laughs> Man, just a little love to let you know that you are loved and you are appreciated by the women of God. Mother. Open hers first. Amen. God bless you. Come on, let's celebrate our God one more time for our leader. After I sow my seed, I like to water my seed with praise. Come on, one more time, clap your hands and water your seed with praise. Back in the hands of administrative assistant. Let's celebrate the Lord for the love that the people have for this great giant man of God. And we thank God for you, Bishop Porter. Uh, let me say this. We have one instrument that has been here it has not been recognized a whole lot and sometimes you look at him and you act like you're going to embarrass him for what he does and how he gets into the praises of God I told him last year I said we got to find you a digital washboard I don't know where we can find it, but we got to find uh, Pastor Boyd a digital washboard that he can play to the rooftops over the mountains and everywhere. Don't we enjoy Elder Boyd when he's playing his washboard? Come on, let's, let's lift up talents and gifts. Some folk, you wouldn't even do that. You wouldn't, bring, you wouldn't bring no washboard to church, but my God, uh, Elder Boyd, he just right off in there doing what he can. Praise God. I love him for it. At this time, we're going to have our uh, conference highlights coming from Elder Tony Irons and uh, special, uh, they're going to do the vacin uh, vaccinating moment uh, at this time after that. And then the presentation of the bishop coming by the one and only, my friend, Bishop Joseph Fisher. Say amen for them as they come. Protect yourself this season. Wash your hands, avoid close contact, and get vaccinated. COVID-19 vaccines are the first step to getting back to the things we miss most. Hanging out with friends, opening a new business, hugging our loved ones. Stay safe. Get back to Tennessee. For more information on where you can find vaccination and booster sites in your area, visit communityprojectinc.org. Thank y'all for clapping as I'm trying to catch my breath because I was running in the hallway. <laughs> 
Registration will begin April 13th, and there will be additional information forthcoming. Also, the Church of God in Christ April call, spring call meeting April 8th through the 12th, Memphis, Tennessee, at our Kojic World headquarters at our historic Mason Temple. Amen. I'm not here to sing. Just want to give you all a quick notice um, about our sponsor for the week. If you look at your programs or if you've been watching online, you'll continuously see um, something that states Get Vax Tennessee on all of your apparatuses. That is one of our sponsors for this week. Can we give a hand clap for that? Um, our nonprofit Community Project Inc. is in sponsorship and in partnership with the state of Tennessee, and we are continuing um, to give information and market for vaccination. So if you all would like any more information on that or um, as far as numbers or statistics or how exactly you can get vaccinated or where health sites do these tests or vaccinations in your area, you can visit communityprojectinc.org for more information on that as well as all things that we have going on right there from Community Project Inc. Um, that's all for our sponsors. Thank you all so much as we go higher in the Lord. God bless you this evening. We honor God tonight for his goodness. Oh, bless the Lord with me. Amen. I thank God for blessing us to be in the house of God tonight. God is good, isn't he? Amen. To all of the clergy that's here on tonight, to Bishop's Cabinet, to uh, our First Lady, amen. She's been acknowledged already, but I'd like to do it again. Amen. To our supervisor of women, Mother Pepina, to my own wife on tonight, to all of you that make up this great congregation, amen. On this week, amen, we learned about what leadership is. We learned that a good leader has vision. We, have, we learned that a good leader has integrity, is influential, is a good communicator, is a decisive person, Amen. And we know that all of these characteristics is indicative of our own leader on tonight, Bishop Brandon B. Porter. Amen. Amen. He's a man of integrity. Amen. He's a man that is not just taking a walk because look at all of us that are following him on tonight. Amen. A great man of God. <clears throat> Amen. Sometimes I wish that he would slow down because he's moving so fast. Amen. That I I'm worried about his health. But nevertheless, he's a man that's doing God's business. Amen. He's doing kingdom work. Amen. He reminds me so much of his father. His father was one that was a motivator. He was an influentiator. He was one that was a great communicator. He was all of those things that a good leader should be. And I see those same qualities in our leader on tonight. Amen. He is... Amen. The very proud pastor of two churches there in the city of Memphis, Tennessee, Greater Community Temple, North and East locations. He is the uh, prelate of the Tennessee Central Tennessee jurisdiction. Amen. And he is also general board member of the Church of God in Christ, where he serves as the secretary. Amen. I would that you would stand to your feet this evening and receive our leader, one of the greatest leaders in Christendom, one of the greatest leaders in the church of God in Christ all over the world, none other than my friend, my brother, my jurisdictional leader, Bishop Brandon B. Porter. Come on, let's give it up for him. And when I call him the God I serve, it was God that changed your mind. It was God. Lift your hands now and say, Lord, I just want to thank you. I got you. Let the enemy know that God is for me. Let's do when he gets ready to do it. 
You think you're out of time, but you don't know God. There's no law against being like God, so why are you scared? On my phone, I'm handling stuff. Even in the convocation, y'all. I ain't just texting. I'm taking care of matters, amen? So I'll give you permission to text tonight. And that is to share uh, this live, or the, whether on Facebook or YouTube, with someone else. And you got to get used to that because the difference between good and great is exposure. And sometimes the people that are watching us are in greater numbers than people that are present with us. And we don't want to disregard, because they're giving tonight too, amen. Put some thumbs up in there, let them know y'all giving as well. Amen, we appreciate them. So help me, clap your hands and celebrate them for watching. Thank you. Please take your seat. Good to see so many of you. Turn to someone and tell them, I'm so glad you came to church. Now look back at him. Hold on, hold on. Look back at him. Look back at him. Say, because I've seen you everywhere else. <laughs> Glad you came to church. Amen. Glad you came to church. I've been missing some of you. I was feeling some kind of way when I didn't see some of y'all. I've been, my mother said, I've been taking names. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for each and every one of you and certainly to all of our leaders. These men and women help us. Amen. Our executive team members, our executive board, they help us tremendously in leadership. Thank you, Bishop Fisher, for those kind words. And to uh, all of our administrative assistants, Bishop Fisher, um, uh, of course, Pastor Norman, Superintendent Norman, thank you for your service tonight, sir. He has some trouble with his knees, but he's still moving. He's hopping, but he ain't stopping. Amen. Administrative Assistant John Smith, who preached like a crazy man the other night. And then we had Crazy's cousin to come last night. Administrative Assistant Anthony Taylor. And we're thankful for these guys. All of our superintendents, will all of our superintendents stand, please? Amen. All the way from Atlanta, Superintendent Haney, bless you, sir. And Superintendent Williams, thank you, sir. Amen. Superintendent Barnes, good to see you. You on my list. I had your name written down. Amen. Thank you, Superintendent Kitten, who preached this morning in the breakfast. Bless you, Superintendent Carl Irons. Emeritus Superintendent. Amen. Payne. Come on. Thank God for him. And good to see my brother again. God bless you, Bishop. Bishop Barbara. Come on. Give each of them a hand. <clears throat> Chairman of our Pastor and Elders Council, stand up, Elder, Elder Calhoun, amen. We thank God for him. All of our auxiliary leaders, our, our AIM president, Elder Zach Hayes, wave your hand, sir. Youth president, uh, Elder Walker, Isaiah Walker, stand up, sir, so they see you. And looking for our Sunday school, is Elder Jenkins here? Elder Jenkins, bless you. Evangelism, uh, Zelda Hood here. Amen. He's in the hallway. Bless Zelda Hood. Say amen. And all the ladies, excuse me, ladies that work along with them, thank you. If you are auxiliary leading lady, will you stand with us as well? Come on. Praise God for the many of them. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. All of our pastors, if you've got the best pastor, come on, make some noise. <laughs> Good to know. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right. I hope he's here. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, y'all got a little energy tonight, don't you? I'm believing God for your overflow. Will you celebrate our supervisor of women, Lady Papina? Amen. Uh, I was looking for Superintendent Papina. He was with us early. He's okay, isn't he? Oh, okay, good, good. I know we went to eat together. I hope he didn't get sick. Cause I'm like hoping I, didn't, I ain't going to get sick then. Amen. And um, God bless my wife, Lady Melody. Praise God for her. 
to all of the first ladies. Come on, give it up to all the first ladies. District missionaries. All of our district missionaries, everybody. I'm going to do this so that my, my uh, guest, who I consider a son, will not have to recognize because y'all get, everybody get honors about 15, 16 times in Church of God in Christ. We kill more time doing this stuff than anything else. And we all got to rehearse it. Amen. But look at your neighbor and say, he's glad to see you too. Amen. Well, I got one more person I forgot that I need to recognize. I forgot to recognize her. That's my granddaughter, Braxton. Hey, Braxton. <laughs> Hey, but thank God for her. I, I, thank you for your prayers. I've not been feeling my best this week, and I, of course I've been going. I was in the workers' conference in Oklahoma and um, last week, and I have been moving a lot. Sometimes your body just needs some rest, you know, Pastor Singleton. And um, I think it's been telling me that I went to the doctor, and um, he did all he uh, needed to do to look for this and that and the other, what have you. But I'm thankful that I'm still here. Amen. <clears throat> feeling a little better. I felt God when I sat down in here. Right over there. Hey, Amen. I just felt like dancing a little bit. It looked like while I was dancing, stuff was falling off me. Hey, Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. If you didn't know it, just tell somebody he's in the room. Woo! My God. I, I want you to say it like you believe it. Tell him whatever you need is in the room oh yeah <laughs> hallelujah y'all sit down that's all i got sit down that's all i got amen it's in the room <laughs> today we had a pretty involved day today uh our sessions let me say this tennessee Central, you are an amazing jurisdiction and pastors and leaders. I want to thank the pastors that sent members as delegates because our day sessions were just incredible. No, 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 no. We had real talking stuff, though. I mean, they were, they were talking real talk and, and talking about things relating to pastors and members and others and this, da, da, da. It's just great. And we're going to expound on that uh, even beyond in our convocation, talking to um, uh, uh, Chairman Calhoun and uh, of course, uh, Ministry of Assistant John Smith. Work. I want our pastors to be equipped. I'm not just interested in having a, a healthy jurisdiction and districts. I want our local churches to be healthy. Amen. That means we've got to equip you to do incredible ministry uh, in your areas. And today I went and met with the mayor of Jackson. I'm very uh, in sync with our mayor in Memphis, our new mayor, Mayor Young, and always, you know, when, whatever city you're in, the people in the powers of your governance need to know who you are. And I had never met him, and I'm like, and I just thought about that while I was coming here. I said, you know what? The mayor in this town never met me. He's at a disadvantage. He needs to know who Brandon Porter is. <laughs> Amen. So I had uh, Elder Flowers and Elder Tony Irons call his office. He scheduled something immediately for us to come and meet with him at 3 o'clock today, and we did that. Uh, I, along with uh, many of our cabinet members, and, and we sat with him and talked about what we could do together in this city to impact the communities of this city and the things that we want to do as a jurisdiction to partner with the city of Jackson to make better a world for our people. Amen, somebody. And so, and uh, though he's a Caucasian brother and very nice, uh, Scott Con uh, Conger, and he's a graduate of Lane College. Go figure. But he did go to Ole Miss for a little bit, but he came, over, he came to Lane College after his family had some challenges, and then uh, he got a scholarship, and he took it and uh, for football and so on. Uh, but it was great meeting him. And then to find out that his great-great-great-great-grandfather was the mayor back in 1861. Yeah, and his grandfather was the mayor while I was here whom I had met and done some, some work and services with. So it's good to link up with your people, you all. Always, when you go, go to, don't just send people to the bank, you go to the bank so they know who you are, pastors. Amen. So when you come in, they say, hey, pastor, they get to know you because success, success or progress, should I say, happens at the speed of relationships. 
progress, say it after me, progress happens at the speed of relationships. And you have to develop relationships with people. I met a, a, a young black man who's a, a, a sorority brother of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, fraternity, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, for, I'm, well, whatever, I play it's Kojic, okay? Uh, a fraternity brother of, of Dr. Taylor and a friend of, uh, of Superintendent Pepiners and, and other little flowers. His name is Hunt, and this man owns six hotels, black brother, eight hotels, a steel plant, the restaurant we ate at twice this week, and a whole collage of, uh, of uh, buildings and just a major entrepreneur right here in the city of Jackson. Incredible, and just so fired up, and he wants to help. He wants to pour. We're gonna invite him in to partner with us, to talk to us about how we can make a difference in our community. Is that okay? Amen. Blessings to you. I wanna move out the way. I invited um, certainly a dear brother whom I've grown to love, and i just known him a little bit because one of my bishop brothers told me about him and I watched his ministry online. Then I invited him to be with us. And whenever I hear of something meaningful, I share it. I let others know. And everywhere I've told people about him, he's had the opportunity to go and they've called me just ragging and raving about how God has moved and blessed. I'm thankful for the anointing on his life. i finding out every day more about him. He considers me a father and as I pour into his life, um, and he's ministered for years. He's, uh, though he's young, but when he was in his 20s, he was ministering all across Africa. He's been in six uh, countries in Africa. And I saw video clips. You can go Google it and, and pull them up where he's ministering to hundreds of thousands of people under the power and strength of God. Uh, he's an entrepreneur, has restaurants and so on in the state of Texas and pastors in Houston and also in um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and uh, I'm thankful for what God is doing in his life. And he said uh, to me, Bishop, I want you to cover me. I need, I need men in my life that I can have confidence in. He says, I've got many friends in high places, but they do things that I don't want to do. Amen, somebody. And you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna mentor someone, you should be trying to be holy yourself. Amen. Is that right, somebody? And I'm thankful for what God is doing in his life. Every day uh, that we get the opportunity to fellowship, I'm impressed with what the Lord is doing. And he's human, amen? The hand of God is on his life. Sometimes on the phone we're talking, he just breaks down and starts crying over the things that have gone through his life because so many of us have been wounded in the battle. We've been, what you say, cut, but not what? Huh? Cut, but not killed, amen. We all been saying some stuff up in here. And then, what my preacher? Where is um, 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 Parham? Where's Parham? Parham preached uh, the other day. God knows how to use dirt. I said, boy, y'all got y'all been reading some stuff coming up with these old funny titles. God I know how to use dirt. I'm like, good God Almighty! Now I looked inside and I said, make that dirty choir sing up there tonight. Amen. <laughs> God is good. Listen, I want you to open your hearts for what God's going to do. I didn't know that I was going to be somewhat impaired tonight, and I really want to, uh, I'm obeying uh, God, I believe, in my body concerning it and giving myself some rest. Um, and I know y'all will make me preach till I fall out, and my wife will be upset with all of y'all. Amen. But I'm going to take uh, a rest, and I thank you for, for acquiescing. Um, even Sunday, and now say man for host pastor, stand up. I'm proud of this young man. Stand up. Pastor Dwight Hunt. Amen. He started preaching in my ministry when I was pastoring here as a young pastor. <clears throat> Look at what God has done. Now he's the senior pastor here. I guess tonight I asked him if he would stay over and minister uh, here at Unity in the morning for Palm Sunday. And he acquiesced. Uh, you know, he even came to Oklahoma, showed you how much he loved it, and preached on his birthday. And then he got upset because we ain't had nothing for him. You know, I said, I ain't at home. I'm in Oklahoma. I don't know what nothing is. Amen. And so we just, you know, Taco Bell or something or another, whatever. But so I got to make it up to him. Amen. But um, he'll be here Sunday. 
that he'll be with Greater Community Sunday night for Palm Sunday. We're going to have a crazy Palm Sunday night service. But then Evangelist Sharon C. Whitelaw is going to be with us Sunday morning. So I'm going to take, you hear me? I'm going to take my break. You hear me, V? I'm going to take my break Sunday, but I'm going to be there dancing and shouting because I want to be rested so I can preach Easter Sunday. Oh, I'm going to preach Easter Sunday. What you talking about? I'm lying to come out with a white robe on, man. I'm going to, boy, I can't wait to say one Friday. Then, then I'm going to say, Allah! Lord have mercy. I'm going to get him up. I'm going to get him up Easter Sunday. <laughs> And then I'm going to go Easter egg hunting. Listen, I want you, I want you after the choir had finished ministering in songs. Zach, give us something hot and ready. I want this preacher to be fired up when he get up. And you're going to be blessed by his gift. He has an, an unusual anointing on his life. And I've seen so many people whose lives have never been the same as a result. Of, open your hearts. Open your hearts and let God speak to you tonight. Is that okay? Look at your neighbor and say, God's going to tell you something tonight. Say amen for our choir. After they come, we're going to be in the very capable, anointed hands of our guest tonight, Prophet Marcus Thomas. Amen. Yes, sir. 
sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Everybody sit down. All right, thank you. God bless you. God. I want to say this. And when I say this, everybody won't get it, but some of you will. The Lord, now when I say this, I need you to respond like it's for you. God just whispered in my ear, and he told me to tell somebody, it's going to happen just in the nick of time. Y'all too deep. Y'all don't believe God. Y'all don't believe him. I, I don't know who needed that. I don't, one, two, three, four. I don't know who that woman is on the fifth row. But God told me to tell you, you needed confirmation. And tonight is your night for confirmation. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Sit down. Y'all sit down. See, sometimes you don't need a prophecy. Sometimes you just need confirmation. Let me talk to y'all over here. Sometimes I don't need nobody to call me out by my name. I just need somebody to tell me that it's going to be all right. And so the Lord told me to tell you one more time. It's going to happen just in the nick of time. I don't know what you waiting on. Come on, turn my mic all the way up. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what odds are stacked against you. I don't know what the judge said. I don't know what the judgment looked like. But God told me to tell you, you gonna leave here tonight with a different verdict. I dare you touch somebody in your space and say, name. You have no idea, but God is going to overturn it. Not because you've been good, but because he's come. And he's better than good. Open up your mouth and shout the air. Shout the air. Y'all follow me. I was, I was sitting in the chair. I feel my help now. I was getting sleepy. Now I got strength. I, I was sitting in the chair. Somebody shout chair. chair. And first of all, thank you. you. You took me to the restroom. But what you didn't know, I believe that how you handle a prophet Make God's eye wide open to your life. I don't care if you walk me to the door. You, you, you cannot be a blessing to me and God not slip you a miracle. Y'all some haters. I ain't scared of none of you. Look at your neighbor and say, I just need God to slip me a miracle. I don't know you. We didn't have a conversation. 
But God says, L-I-S-E, Lisa, who is that? Where is she? Lisa, the Lord told me, Brandon will not die. Y'all ain't loud enough, and God's going to touch his mind right now. And the Lord says, sir, if you run around this church one time, God's going to cause the bullet to drop to the ground. And y'all still ain't loud enough. Y'all still ain't screaming. I said, you're not screaming. Screaming. Run again. The bullet that's after Brandon's head is not going to hit him. I need y'all to high five three people and say the bullet just dropped to the ground. Y'all ain't loud enough. Somebody say the bullet just dropped. Hold on, sir. Don't sit in your seat. Don't sit in your seat yet. Now, Miss Wife, this is why you're about to dance. Because you're going to tell Brandon, because I don't know, I see the bullet, the bullet landed on the ground in like a Clarksville, Tennessee. It's a gas station off of a dirt road. That's where the ambulance was supposed to pick his body up. But the reason the reason you're going to dance, First Lady, is because God is a second chance kind of God. Y'all still ain't loud enough. Y'all gonna make me throw my mic at you. I told you I ain't scared of you. You're going, and listen, and when that First Lady, because I told you God, for some of you, God's about to slip you in a miracle tonight. What do you mean, prophet? You're about to get a miracle that you wasn't expecting or you was expecting. So God's going to slip you in one. When she danced, every first lady better tear this church up. Because her dance is going to be symbolic for God covering your children and your grandchildren. Y'all still acting funny. I said her, her shot not my sia. I said her dance is going to represent that all your kids are covered. Your nephews are covered. <laughs> your nieces are covered. Y'all missing this. So I'll give honor in a minute. I'll give honor in a minute. I know I gotta do all of that stuff. The bishop's cabinet, the superintendents. So the Lord says she's going to dance and her dance is for all the first lady's lineage but your dance is for what God's about to do in your ministry she's going to save the son and God's going to cause your dance to save souls y'all still ain't loud enough the Lord said your season of being looked over is over God is going to allow the eye of multiplication to find you. Y'all don't like me. And I, when I say it's going to find you, what I'm saying, now listen, this is for every pastor because we are one body. That means what God is going to do for him, you got to act like this word is for you. If God said he's going to multiply his congregation, that means your con y'all ain't talking. Your congregation, y'all still ain't loud enough. Come on here. I need a loud church. I need a, come on here. Because I told y'all, the louder you get, the quicker it's going to happen. I said, the louder you get, the quicker it's going to happen. First lady, you look mighty cute, but you're going to dance tonight. 
I can't preach until you stop the bullet. And mind you, you're not just dancing for your child. You're dancing for every seed of all of these first ladies. So their children are covered. Are you listening to me? So when I count to three, y'all better tear this church up because your praise corporately would have saved somebody's life. Everybody dance! Break the 
you ain't afraid, I dare you begin to leap for joy. If you ain't scared, I dare you begin to leap for joy. what I'm talking about. Y'all better let it go. You ain't got to hold on to it. You can let it go right now. You ain't got to hold on to it. Uh Uh-oh, the young people are dancing. Don't y'all let them dance by themselves. I just heard the Lord say, The front of the church is the glory pool. If you run up here and dance on the altar, God's going to change your situation in 24 hours. You better get up here and give God. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pastors are dancing. The mothers are dancing. The first ladies are dancing. This is what a worker's beat is about. When we come together, team. Gifts are opening up. Your anointing is being released. Your anointing is being released. I prophesy. Praiser. God is releasing. God is mending relationships. God is turning your situation. All you gotta do is put a praise on it. All you gotta do is put a. And the Lord says, I'm doing it in this relationship. man to you can I tell you something everything that tried to break you everything that have kept you from ministry you went through some stuff in your life and the enemy wrote you off and said you weren't gonna fulfill your destiny But God told me to tell you, not only am I going to keep your father alive, but your father will live to see your destiny fulfilled. And I prophesy, when everybody screams to the top of your lung, God is going to restore this man. Uh Uh-oh, there you go. There they go. There they go. There they go. Don't you let them praise by themselves. And I prophesy, their church is about to double in size. It's all right right now It's all right right now It's all right right now 
Give honor to God who's ahead of my life. What's your name? Huh? Somebody get. Because I keep seeing. Lord showed me Andrew, but I seen Irvin. Yeah, no, no, I just seen Irving. But where's Andrew? He and all, go get him. Huh? Where he at? Huh? Get to Andrew in the office. Tell him, hurry up and get out here. God. That's what I'm talking about. You better speed walk, Reverend. <laughs> Clap your hands for the supervisor of women. Y'all ain't loud enough. God bless you. Good to meet you. Thank God for. Thank God for the bishop's wife. Clap your hands for the woman of God. Lift your hand to Jesus, sir. How do you believe God? Say it a little louder. Yes, sir. Now, I kept hearing Andrew in the spirit. Keep your hands up. Are you Andrew? But why do I see Irvin? That's you too. I know I don't miss. Everybody in here was confused. We don't know no Irvin. The prophet don't miss. Somebody say, he don't even miss a little bit. I'm telling you, I'm going to miss a little bit. How you doing? Who are you here with? Pastor Taylor. It's your wife? Yes, sir. You got a good husband. You got a good husband. Let me tell you something. Everybody point. Everybody point. Shh, peace in the house. Watch this. Point. Heaven is all over me right now. Heaven is all over me. Vivian. Y'all clap your hands. That's my favorite person in the whole world. Vivian, God bless you, woman of God. I, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Oh, they don't know her by Vivian, do they? What do they, what do they call you? Renita. Clap your hands for Renita. Okay. okay. I love her a whole lot. I'm happy to be here because you're here. I told them that in the car. Where's she at? glad you're here the spirit of the Lord told me to tell you you don't know this but he saved your life five times but you don't know this you know one of, one, of, one, of the, one of my gifts is God shows me things he shows me things vividly are you hearing me like it was literally on like winter spring road 
You ever heard of Winter Spring Road? Are you sure? You ever drove on that road? Huh? Lived on that road. You, you lived on that road. I can't make this up. It was on Winter Spring Road. You weren't supposed to make it off that road. You, you, can I go deeper? You was driving like an Escalade. Like a, a like a 2002 maybe, huh? Still have it. You still have it, and you don't know me. I ain't never talked to you a day in my life. Let me tell you why you about to dance. When last time you danced in church? You can count them, so not often. You gonna dance tonight? Let me tell you why. Do you do you value your life? You do. You're going to dance tonight because who did you buy a Honda for? Where's your wife? Supervisor, what you say? There's no way I could know this, right? He wasn't supposed to make it off this road, supervisor. It was like an Escalade, an O2 Escalade that a tree, you actually fell asleep. Huh? Yeah. The enemy was attacking his sleep for a long time. Are you listening to me? You supposed to be a widow right now. But let me tell you, let me tell you about your prayer life. He's still living because you know how to pray. He's still living because you know how to pray. Y'all didn't supposed to make it to the new address together. The enemy wanted you to be a widow on winter spring. There's no way I can know this. But God told me, woman of God, when he danced, God is extending his life while God is giving you peace. And the Lord said after tonight, y'all, watch this. And when I say this, woman of God, I need you to catch it. After tonight, y'all will owe nobody. Uh Uh-oh. It's about to get real crazy in here. Supervisor, the Lord says every debt that's connected to your church. Uh Uh-oh. Every debt that's connected to your church and every debt that's connected to your bloodline. God said, get ready to give the Honda away. Get ready to give the Cadillac away. Because as God pays off these locations, he's going to change how you get to the location. Y'all still acting funny. I said, hey! Now when I scream, y'all scream, hey! I feel the Holy Ghost. The Lord told me to tell you, listen, when y'all scream for him, your days of not knowing how God was going to do it, it's over. (laughs) Shucks. And the Lord told me to tell you he's touching your body right now. She He's touching your body right now. And I prophesy, now when I say this, every pastor that's in here, if you know him, you better catch this and you better take this home with you. The Lord says, anything that's connected to your ministry. The Lord said, this is about to be the year. The next four years is about to be the year that you and your family and your church will owe nobody. Now the Lord said, if about 10 pastors would scream, the same anointing that's on him right now is going to fall on you. Supervisor, and I'm going to leave you alone after this. 
He's about to dance because God gave him a second chance at life. Somebody say it's powerful when God gives you a second chance at life. It's one thing to give me a second chance on a job. It's another thing, come on, to give me a second chance at life. And it, that's why we need the prophet. We need the prophet because we need a reminder that God can extend your life. We need a reminder that God can extend your what? Life. That's why God called the prophet in. He called the prophet in so that somebody can get an extension. I feel my apostolic falling on me now. Somebody need an extension at life. Life has wore you down, pastors, and you trying to keep it together. But the truth of the matter is, underneath that smile and behind that collar, you're frustrated. You're frustrated because your potential is not matching your net worth. You're frustrated. You're frustrated because it seems like the people don't get the vision. You're frustrated. You're frustrated because it seems like when one thing you make it over, another thing comes. But supervisor, the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you it ends today. What have kept you up in prayer? ends today you're going to be able to change your prayer after tonight because God would have answered everything you've been crying out to him and the Lord said count it not strange the Lord says he's about to do it in your husband and he's going to do it in an expedited amount of time sir when you dance right now because you are going to dance the spirit of the Lord told me to tell you Every step you take while you're dancing shall be another deposit that's going to be deposited not only in your account but in your church's account. The Lord says because you've operated in integrity, now it's time for you to get payback. I'm going to say this to somebody and everybody ain't going to get it. But the spirit of the Lord says for everybody that have served in this jurisdiction, this is your season for restitution. Oh, oh, Y'all still ain't loud enough. I ain't talking about just for the pastors. I'm talking about for the choir members. I'm talking about for the musicians. I'm talking about for the ushers, the laity. I'm talking about for the, for I need you to high five somebody and say this is my time for restitution. Satan owes me something and I ain't gonna get off Satan's back until I get everything that's owed to me. says God's about to take you through a six month season of spirituality see some of y'all are so practical but every now and again God needs to take us through a season of being spiritual yes, sir. putting putting your practicality to the side putting your planning to the side while coming to the conclusion that these kind come out, but fasting. See, we need the results of what fasting and prayer can produce. Yes. Yes. Woo! Absolutely. I, I, need, I, I need to encounter the release of these kind. The release of these kind. I need these kind to be released from my life. Okay, maybe y'all will get this. I need these kind to be released from my work. Because I can't work effectively if these kind got a residency in my life. And the only way these kind can be released out of your work and out of
out of your life and out of your marriage is if you learn how to be spiritual and pray and fast bring back can I preach it how I feel it bring back people that promote prayer life bring come on here talk to me bring back folk that promote fasting this is the hour church of God that God is getting ready to pull on your spirituality because there are some things you can gain in your spiritual life that your calculated life will never give you some stuff no matter how much fundraising you do your money can't buy yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you, you trying to save up to pay stuff off when God if you would just uh, dig a little somebody say dig a little deeper if you would dig a little I don't know who I'm talking to there's some stuff you trying to fundraise to get you trying to fundraise to obtain and God says I need you to dig a little deeper in your prayer life because if you would dig look at your neighbor say dig deeper if you would dig deeper in your prayer life you would now find out that what you're trying to fundraise I put it on the mind of somebody to take I need y'all to look at somebody and say neighbor stop staying up all night long trying to put the pieces to the puzzle together and stay up in prayer if my people which I call by my name I don't know who I'm talking to in here but some of y'all have the calling of God on your life and when you have the calling of God on your life you have access as his people if my people which are called by my name would humble them there is possibilities birthed in humility I said, I need y'all to lift your hands and say, possibilities is birthed in humility. In other words, my brothers and my sisters, you need to understand what is possibilities. What is, what is the kiss of life falls on you now? Woo! God, he's aligning your body right now. He's causing blood to flow to your heart because the enemy is trying to give you a stroke. But God is ending it now. And the louder y'all scream. <laughs> sit down. The question is, sit down, sit down. The question is, you're going to shout, stay right there. The question is, the question is, Brother Taylor, yes, sir. what is, what is possibilities? What is, look at me, possibilities. Possibilities is not the reaction of your intellect, your self-gain, your schooling. Possibilities has nothing to do with your social status. Your people group, what do you mean? Who you define yourself in. Your bloodline does not determine your possibilities. The question is, what is possibilities? Possibilities. I'm talking about is not revealed to everybody. The possibilities that I'm talking about, brethren, the possibilities I'm talking about, pastors, is not revealed in open prayer. Hallelujah. The possibilities uh, that I'm talking about, God, have only uh, uh, a divine interest in telling you them by yourself. Uh, he, he reminds us in the Holy Scriptures, they that dwelleth, the po po possibilities is found in the secret place. 
That's why I believe my assignment tonight is not to promote good preaching. My assignment tonight, glory to God, is not to give you hermeneutics and homiletics and exegesis and eisegesis of a text. It's not even to give you three points in the close. It's not to give you a contextual understanding. Glory to God of its geometry, all of that other crap. That's not my assignment. My assignment is to promote you to a place he's been looking for you at and you ain't been visiting him at. Pastors, I came to give a corporate appeal for you to go find your possibility. If you find your possibility, you'll find out you've been stressing over stuff he worked out a long time ago. I came to encourage a weak leader. A weak leader is not defined by the strength of your congregation. I came to strengthen a weak leader. A weak leader is not defined, glory to God, by the strength of your pocketbook. You're weak when you ain't been in prayer. Y'all better talk back to me before I throw my mic all the way to the back. Weak leader. You ought not be offended. Let me call you a weak leader. You ought to be encouraged that God loves you so much that he's giving you time to make your way back to a place. He's been looking for you for a long time. Some of y'all are pastoring from a place of charisma. And good charisma will always gather people. Some of y'all got more fans than you got followers. And you wonder why there's no consistency in your congregation. Because you're showing signs of strong personality but weak spirituality. I as a prophet is not here to be your friend. I'm here to ask you when was the last time you visited God in the secret place? good you was facilitating your class how great you close your sermon God is raising up prophets to sound the alarm and to warn you that if you don't get back to finding out what possibilities look like you'll lose everything you gained see some of y'all don't have blessings, you have self gain. Blessings come from God. Self gain come from what your hands can produce. And I found out that the things my hands produce don't last long. Y'all better talk back to me like you understand what I'm saying. I'm here to be your spiritual midwife. Ushering you back to your birth room. The room he visited you at every elevated season of your life. It's a terrible case, Bishop, when God only finds or hears from you when promotion is on the line. Y'all don't like me. And I don't care. God says, how can, how can I reveal unto you new things? We're going to conferences after conferences. Listening 
to self-designed pamphlets and procedures that build communities, sometimes congregations, but don't promote your walk with the Father. That's why we have pastors that are big and successful and their lifestyle ain't worth crap. Because the devil will make you think your work is based on what you have built and not what you have enslaved yourself to when it comes to your FaceTime with the Father. I don't see the way that I see accuracy because glory to God is just here. The Lord told me if I would dedicate my life to him, he'll strengthen my eyes. So the more I pray, the more I see. And I found out that the less I pray, the less I see. So I'm fearful, so I walk around now with a confidence of my prayer life, not of my gift. I don't know who I'm talking to here. Some of y'all got confidence in your gift and not your prayer life. That's why the Holy Scripture said, gifts and callings come without repentance. Some of y'all don't have a repentant heart, but you're pastoring. God says, please sit down, y'all scaring me, sit down. God told me, he told me, he said, son, he says, there are some people that need to understand that what he's about to do for them is going to require a different level of spirituality. A different level of living a spirit-filled life. Am I making any sense? And, 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 and I'm, I'm here to promote this because some of y'all are, some of y'all has built to the brink of your limitation. You have taken your ministry as far as it can go because your, your hands has limited power. Y'all ain't talking to me. Look at your neighbor and say, your hands have limited power. If your hands didn't have limited power, you wouldn't be stressed the way you stressed. If your hands didn't have limited power, glory to God, you would have built what you've seen in your head a long time ago. But some of y'all need to put your hand in the master's hand. That's the only thing that's keeping you from your destiny. That's the only thing that's keeping you from your conquered place. So Lord, I'm almost done here. The Lord, he says, son, I want you to make an appeal to the first ladies, make an appeal to the superintendent of the house that some of y'all been missing time with him in the secret place. You got to understand the secret place is glory to God. It's not a loud place. <laughs> The see the secret the secret place is a place that God meets you to reveal his mysteries y'all better talk back to me and that's the problem why some of y'all depend solely on the prophet glory to God but let me tell you something your in your dependence on the prophet will will be limited when you know how to go to God and know that God is going to visit you oh y'all ain't talking to me here Come on here. Everything about your life ought not be codependent on somebody giving you a word when God has given you a predestined and a designed and an authorized place to meet him at any given moment. And your meeting is expected to leave you on another level. The problem is some of you are so 
stuck in your, your planning. And there's a book pastors get. It's called Death by Planning. What do you do when planning becomes your enemy? My, my, my. You're planning and planning and planning and planning. You're planning and planning and planning. Meeting after meeting after meeting. Ain't nothing happening. Yeah. Nothing happening. Because even in, your, even in your planning, what did God say? God. What is God doing? Yeah. Some of y'all parishioners look at you like a dictator and not as a person that leads them closer to God. Some of your congregation look at you like a dictator. Glory to God, because the only time they, they hear from you, the only time they feel you, glory to God, is when you're telling them what to do. But sometimes your congregation got to feel your heart through prayer. Sometimes, glory to God, they need, Lord, y'all ain't talking to me. They need, come on, you can feel when your leader been praying. Some of y'all in here right now because of your loyalty and not because of their prayer life. I know this was not my message. I was supposed to just prophesy, but I got something to say. So he said, so he said, he said, they, they dwell. Listen to this. In the secret place. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Why is everything God's doing in your life loud? But he wants to give you secrets. Some of y'all need to shut up. Because, because some of the stuff God showed you he did show you. He just didn't want you to repeat it. Because the reason some of y'all are under attack is because you spoke prematurely. You know people don't like you. You know they talk about you behind your back. You know they wonder why you so close to the bishop. See, you got to stop running your mouth because what you release in the air, the enemy now has authorization to snatch what you speak. Okay, you don't believe it? We wrestle not against. But against what? Hold on. Principalities don't reside right here. It resides above your head. Amen. There's some things above you that ain't trying to fight you visibly. Woo, that's a word. Y'all better catch that. What do you do when you fight in what you can't see? That's why there's a need, there's a necessity for the secret place. Because when you get to the secret place, it helps you to fight what you can't see. Ah, okay. There's a need for a prayer life. There's a need for you to be able to talk to your God. Wait, am I talking to anybody in here? There's a need to talk to God, my dear brother. The reason there's a need to talk to God is because when I Talk to God in my secret place. He reveals some stuff that you can't see with your visible eyes. Am I making any sense? That's why the brethren is under attack. That's why our bodies is how can you serve a big God that knows the very strand on your head but won't tell you when the devil is trying to attack your body with cancer? How do you, how do you say you serve a big God Huh? How do you serve a big God uh -huh. that, that knows he's, he's omniscient? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. What they say, he's omnipresent. Yeah. How, how, sir, how do you serve this God? Uh. This God you preach about. This God you serve. This God you lead people to. 
only for this God to withhold stuff from you. I, I plead to differ. I plead to differ when he tells me that nothing, nothing on earth has uh, happens before it happens in heaven. How do you? No, it's not that God don't want you to know. You refuse to show up where he's leading you to. It's not that he don't want you to know. Every time he pushes you to prayer, you're too busy with counseling. You're too busy with doing whatever your schedule allows. And there's no spiritual sensitivity for you to have your time with God. Every leader in here ought to have your time with God. The reason some of y'all beat the case was because of your time with God. The reason some of y'all, glory to God, ain't been exposed because of your time with God. But stop only going to God when it's pertinent and start going to God because this is, watch this, your lifestyle. Yes. Yes. I know this ain't a popular message because I'm making an appeal for you to visit your secret place. I don't care what nobody say, and I'm going to say this, and I know we live, and Bishop is probably saying in his head right now, oh, Lord, what is Mr. about to say? I know. But I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it and I, I don't care. I'm going to say it. I don't, if, 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 he, if God tells us, they, they, somebody say they. they. Somebody say they. they. They is a suggestion that there are some that will and some that won't. So he categorizes it. He, he, he creates a, a, a selected he says they. He calls them they. They says that there's others somewhere else. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they singles out a particular people. Oh, shucks. Somebody say talk about it. Somebody say they, they, they. They that dwell. They that dwell. They, that, they, 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 they. Some of y'all ain't they. They, 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 and peculiar people. Talk. They, 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 many are called. Few, few are what? Choke. They, they, they. Somebody say, I'm they, I'm they, baby. I'm, I'm they. They that dwell. Hold on. We're going to take our time with this. First lady say, they, 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 they that dwell. Am I, am I making any sense? They that dwell in. In other words, you can't just say this thing. You got you to go there. Yes, sir. You have to physically, you have to physically enter in. They have to physically go there. I, I don't believe when you got people, and, and it's cute. I, 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 what I'm about to say is cute. I don't, I don't believe in all of this. Oh, my prayer closet. Now everybody know you, 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 the word you pray is in your closet. Everybody know. When he says they that dwell in a secret place. Now, now you, you on Facebook showing everybody the sticky notes in your closet. With all your scriptures written on the sticky notes, with a big old cross you done put up in there, you on live with your prayer shawl in your little bitty closet, walking around speaking in tongue. That's a joke to me. My time with God, I can't afford outside presence. Because he told me there's some stuff in the secret place that I'm going to tell you that everybody don't need to be privy to. They that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under. The secret place, whoa, give you access to abide under y'all ain't talking to me. The reason I'm blessed, the reason I got more money than I can spend, it ain't because I work hard, it's because I've learned how to go to the secret place and the secret place gives me access to a bite under of wealth. I'm gonna say it again, I abide under wealth. 
I, I abide under wealth. Yes, sir. I abide under blessings. I abide under a nice house. Y'all will catch this later. You're yeah, acting slow. I abide under good health. I abide under a thriving church. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I abide under my children is blessed. Yes. So the devil can't fight who's abiding under yes, the almighty yes. God. Yes. Here it is. For redundancy, they, somebody say, I'm they. I'm they. That dwell. In the secret place. In the secret place. Look at your neighbor and say, stop telling everybody your business. Stop telling everybody your, stop telling everybody your plans. Stop telling everybody. Allow what you abide under to speak for you. I, they that dwell in the secret place of the most high, of the most high, of the most high shall abide Under, this is what messed me up. Shadow, the Almighty God. It's one thing to abide under, and it's another thing for the shadow to follow you. <laughs> Not only do I abide under wealth, but wealth follows me. It. I don't just abide under a good marriage. A good marriage will. I don't abide under submitting to a bishop, but people will then begin to submit to you. Because what you abide under begins to now follow. You won't have to follow it. It. Will follow. You. I, I, I want to say this to you. There's some stuff that has been steel that's about to be released to follow you. Are y'all listening to me? It, it, it ain't just going to follow you. It's going to chase you down. Every pastor point at your bishop. The Lord says, every leader, if you're a pastor, have a congregation point at your man of God. The, the Lord told me, he told me to tell you, everybody that is a, that's in good standing in this jurisdiction. Because, you know, some of y'all don't pay your dues and stuff. <laughs> I'm looking at the book right now in the spirit. And everybody know you, 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 you don't give. But for those of you, and if you know you ain't giving, you still got your hand up. We ain't going to expose you. Keep pointing. <laughs> the Lord says, <laughs> the Lord says, <laughs> the Lord said to me that for those of you that's pointing at the bishop, tonight and tonight only, God Bishop, the Lord says, and I need you to hear this by way of the Spirit, the reason you have been a little fatigue in your body is because God has released some of your oil for your sons and daughters in this jurisdiction. That's why you felt stronger in Oklahoma because that's not your predominant assignment. But after that, you start to feel just a little fatigue. It's because God needed the prophet to make an address that your sons and your daughters just need a little bit of your oil. So by this time next week, God's going to replenish it. But hold on. Shh, shh, shh. But tonight, for the next four minutes, Bishop, for four minutes, I just want you to lift your hand midway. I want you to close your eyes for the next four minutes. And I want y'all to 
Let's go into a worship. But for the next four minutes, everybody stay seated except the pastors. The pastors stand. For the next four minutes, God has given your bishop, watch this, access to wealth. And some of that oil is leaving to come to you. He's given your access, your, your bishop access to a strong prayer life. Some of that oil is leaving. The Lord said tonight, there's going to be an impartation and there's going to be results that's going to happen in your local churches after tonight because you're not leaving the way you came. You're leaving with a little bit of your bishop on you. <laughs> Y'all better catch this. And as bishop, as this is the season for promotion for you, and the Lord said, God, I see this right now. Get ready for a phone call. In the next couple of weeks, they're going to be asking you to, uh, something is going to happen, and you're going to be called to another jurisdiction, mark my words, uh, to, to be an intern there and work out some things. The Lord told me to tell you that right now, among your pastors, and these are going to be notable uh, testimonies that's going to come back, among your pastors, God is going to cause uh, a plethora of, of wealth to hit their lives. Now listen everybody that's in the room. If you have a pastor that's in here and they're getting this impartation, the Spirit of the Lord says, what's on your pastors that's falling on the bishop is going to now fall on you guys. So as these pastors and superintendents is pulling on the bishop in prayer, Lord give me a peace. Your prayer right now, pastors, is Lord, give me a piece of my leader. Give me a piece of what's on his life. Give me a piece of what you've given him access to. And everybody else, your prayer is Lord, touch my pastor. Give me a piece of what's on my pastor. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? For the next, the Lord said five minutes straight. I want everybody to stand right now. For the next five minutes straight, the Lord says you're going to use your voice. And God, there is... There's a pastor. I don't want you to say anything. Just hear me. There's a pastor in here. The Lord just whispered in my ear and say, you are un up under a case in court right now. And the Lord told me, you ain't got to come out. You ain't got to say nothing. The Lord told me it's going to work in your favor. There's a pastor. There's a pastor right now. You're trying to pay off a property. The Lord told me to tell you when you leave here tonight, somebody's going to write you a check. That's going to pay off your property. I prophesy this. When I count to three, I want everybody, all the pastors and superintendents to pull on your bishop and all of the, uh, the, the congregations in here pull on your pastor. One, two, three, open your mouth right now. Oh. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth. That's right, you get it. He want it. He want it. There you go. He want it. He want it. Some of y'all ain't taking this serious. When you want it, you got to get close to it. When you want it, you got to get close to it. Oh. I'm not leaving without it. I'm not leaving without it. I'm not leaving without it. Oh. Oh. I'm not leaving without it. Come on, jurisdiction. Get louder in this house. Oh. Oh. I'm not leaving without it, Lord. Come on, pull on it, pull on it. Oh. Oh. I'm not leaving without it. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. I'm not leaving without it. Come on, everybody. He's in here. Come on, come on. 
Come on, come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Oh, give me just a little bit of oil. Come on, y'all. Give me just a little bit of oil. Where's my guitar player? Give me just a little bit of oil. Come on, y'all. Give me just a little bit of oil. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me just a little bit of oil. I need oil to do it. Come on, sons, cry out. Come on, pastors, cry out. I can't make it by myself. Be vulnerable. Come on, pastors. The Lord said, I'm giving you the strength of your leader. Give me just a little bit of oil. Oh! Give me just a little bit of oil. Come on, y'all. Give me strength to do the journey. Come on, pastors. Give me strength to handle the journey. I just want a little bit of oil, Lord. I just want a little bit of oil. Come on, y'all. Go deeper. The Lord says, I'm releasing his oil. Y'all better take it right now. Pull on it. Pull on it. Pull on it. Pull on it. I want everybody in the room begin to pull on heaven. Give me just a little bit of oil. Come on, everybody. Hey. God's giving it to you right now. Power of the Holy Ghost. Ikam Namasya. Open up your mouth, church. God's doing it right now. By the time you get home, I see a shift. By the time you get home, I see a break. Hey, pop. God said, I'm doing it in your family. Every family member you ain't talking to, God's going to fix it. Fit Papa in the A. Glory. A. Open your mouth, church. Open your mouth, church. What you need, he's giving it to you right now. What you need, he's giving it to you right now. They man told him, I'm sad now. He can't say. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's break. Omashia. Break. Oshanama. Break. Oshanana. Say. Ikanamosa. Open up your mouth. God's doing it all over. God's doing it. He's with re- hey, glory. Even in your body right now. Oh, I speak the peace of God. It's happening right now. In my door. Come on, y'all. Let's have some church. The Lord said, you're going to live and not die. God said, I'm doing it in your body. Oh! In the name of Jesus. God's touching your sleep. Your respiratory system. Oh, my Shia. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy, I prophesy, I prophesy, your family is coming to God, there it is, emotion of the oh God, when I count to three it's going to break, one, two, three, let it go, Pop. power, power, oh there it is, Jeremiah said it was like fire. Shut up in your bones. May the fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, fire.
fire of God, fire of God. I set you on fire, brother. I set you on fire. There it is. There it is. Let it out. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost.
in the spirit. Everything, lift your hand and cry out to God. Put your arm around them and 
when you get to the number three God says this hug is going to shift your life remain faithful and the oil that's on the bishop will fall on you open up your mouth every now there it is let it go yeah let it go Ho! come on it's I need somebody to lift your hands and say it's all God it's all better let it go right now. Oh, I said let it go. Who can stand before us when we call? When we call? Great name, nobody. Look at your neighbors and nobody. Just in case you was wondering how I made it, it was nobody but the Lord. Grab your neighbor by the hand. And say, name, God's getting ready to change your life because we've been made in duel for but one night. But John is getting ready to come in the morning. Say, neighbor, your tears was a part of the plan. Your hurt was a part of the plan, but God will fix it. I stopped by here to tell somebody, just in case you forgot who your daddy was, he's able to do exceedingly. enough for me to shout about it. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. The Lord told me to tell somebody the spirit is about to humble your haters. The spirit, the spirit is about to silence your haters. I'm done. Sit down. I got three services to do. Sit down. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> what God do for him he gonna do for everybody in the choir stand uh oh I'm trying
trying to let it go. I'm trying to let it go. I'm trying to let it go. Trying to let it go. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, how he brought me out time after time, after time after time, after time after time, after time after time, after time after time. Maybe this ain't y'all testimony, but I talk to y'all. After time after time. Let me talk to the choir. After time, after time, after time, after time, and after time, after time, after time. After, forget y'all. Let me talk to y'all. After time, after time, after time, after time, after time, after time. Tears in my eyes. After time, after time. Sick in the hospital. After time, after time, after time, after time. Yeah, you run up to three people and just tell them after time, after time, after time. Oh man, I feel like dancing now. Oh shucks. I'm trying to let it go. I'm trying to let it go. I'm trying. Hey. the time now if this young lady she pregnant if she can dance some of y'all funny looking people ain't even pregnant hold on look at somebody say after time after time have you done it for you time after huh have you seen them do it in your family? Time. I. Sir, what is your name? Edward. Cameron. Cameron, the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you God's about to do it again for you. The Lord said, this time, less work, more pay. The season of you being used for your gift is over. God told me, I'm about to let the world hear your voice and see your work. Everybody won't understand that. And Cameron, the Lord told me to tell you everybody connected to you shall be blessed. God told me to let you know Cameron when you tear that choir stand up where's your mother? When? Yeah, I know. The Lord says you don't know this, but there's an assurance policy that you have not recovered. And God told me to tell you she made it to glory. And I prophesy. And I prophesy that you're going to find this policy is going to change your life. When you dance, everything you pray over the last three months it's going to come to pass and if everybody in the choir stand dance what God do for you they going to do it double for them when I count to three y'all better not listen young man heaven is all over you right now 
I don't know what you've been believing God for, but you tugging on me. God says, I'm going to do it in your household right now. I prophesy that the enemy that's after your relationship dies right now. When I tell y'all to praise God, anybody that play with it, you will not get the blessing. But everybody that dance with a purpose, God is going to shift your life in 72 hours. When I count to three, y'all better go crazy. One, two, three, dance! You better move your feet. God just saved your life. Tear this church up. You see that drive you just did? Keep me there. I want to go to well. And brother, guitar player, you better kill it. Now listen. The Lord says, if this jurisdiction, I know you're pregnant. You got one more dance, young, young pregnant lady. If this jurisdiction, the Lord, look around, look around. Say, he's talking to you, he's talking to you. Brother Flowers, listen. I don't care how you feel in your body. You better dance. Let me tell you why. Because God is going to give you more than you can imagine. They wanted you to die. But God commanded you to live. Uh-oh. When I count, uh-oh, shucks. When I count, yeah, shucks, that just almost made me lose control. <laughs> listen, the Lord said we got to dance Together, one time, to, somebody say together. Come on, look at somebody around you, tell them, get your happy hips up. Get up, tell them, get up. I don't care how deep you think you are, get up, get up. Tell them, get up. Cause whoever around you ain't dancing, they slowing your miracle down. And if they don't wanna get up, I give you permission to move. We ain't got time for no stubborn spirit. We gonna dance together. When we dance together, I prophesy there's going to be over 1,000 miracles that's going to hit this jurisdiction. And the louder y'all get, the quicker it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know how bad y'all want it. But when I tell y'all to dance, y'all better go crazy. Everybody dance.
He'll pay off your church and everything connected to you. There it is. Give it to him. Uh oh. Now that's a praiser. A husband never let his wife.
Christ in you. Lift your hand. Now, lift your hand all the way. Now, you're going to make me fight you. I love you like a... And now, you may win because I ain't got that much strength. You be running and stuff. But I'll give it a good try. Listen. Get under me. The Lord says, how long do he got to tug on you before you start preaching? What do you got to do? What do we got to prove to you before you say yes to God? I'm going to tell you this. The life God has for you, the net worth God has for you is tied to your yes. Ain't this the yes, Lord, church? Huh? I said, ain't this the yes, Lord, church? Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Shout it loud, say yes, Lord. Shout it, yes, Lord. Shout it, yes, Lord. If you shout, God gonna bring them to the altar. Open up your mouth. They coming to God. They gonna preach. They gonna prophesy. They gonna lay hands on the sick. Woo. They coming around. Yes, sir. They coming around.
leave you alone but your your daughter shall see the day where she call her daddy pastor I promise you come on somebody make some noise they shall see the day y'all right, sit down now sit down y'all been good uh oh uh oh oh god <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to but the Lord said, your miracle is going to appear just like that. In the blink of an eye, you're going to find yourself living in a whole new house. Y'all don't like it. In the blink of an eye, you're going to find your car paid off. In a, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, there you go. It just hit you. In a blink of an eye. In a blink of an eye. the 
seat in the house of the Lord, please. We're done. Bishop, clap your hands for our bishop. Let me give you some instructions very quickly, please. Nobody moving, just very quickly, please. I'm going to be quick. It is past the time I was supposed to be done at 11.23. So it's past my time by 22 seconds. I got a question. If the Lord spoke to anybody tonight, clap your hands. I wonder where this energy I got come from. But you know what I found out? It comes from my yes. My yes to God restores my strength every time. Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell every pastor that's not afraid. Bishop, first of all, it's your night and I want to bless you. So I want to give the bishop $2,500. Clap for my gift. Don't be a hater. I'm giving your bishop $2,500. Say amen. Y'all acting all funny because you ain't give it to him anyway. Say amen. Give, 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 give my phone because I may leave and forget. Look, bishop going to help me. Give me one. He won't give me both. Thank you, bishop. Thank you. You want it cash app or zale? Okay. I want to bless the bishop because who am I? Who am I? No music, please. Who am I? Because I want you to hear me. Who am I, the prophet 
of God. I am not exempt from sowing. Say man. Not exempt from sowing. I went to a church this past Sunday. I did not preach. I was at home and told my son, I said, get up. We're going to church. Went to Bishop Destry Bell Church. His church is right up the street from my estate, not my home, my estate. So sometimes you got to be able to boast about what the Lord is doing in your life. And any of you that feel uncomfortable with what I just said, you need to grow up. And get in the secret place. Because in that secret place, he'll reveal to you how to get in the state instead of a house. And the louder you get, the quicker God going to give you your estate. Okay, I'm in the right house. I'm in the right. So, supervisor, I told I told my son, get up. We're going to church. So he put on this little hoodie and his stacked jeans, and he said, "We're going to church." I have a son that is fathered by a prophet. He knows his father. My son knows his father, and. We're in Bishop Bell's church, Destry Bell's church, sitting in the back. Bishop Bell, of course, stops his sermon and say, Prophet, the Lord told me to give you the mic. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. And so I get up there, and my son sends me a text from the back. I'm in the pulpit. My son said, Dad, God says so, $5,000. <laughs> and so I, I, I sold the seed sold 3,000 into the church 2,000 into somebody's life at their church giving unlocks opportunity y'all know that but prophetically listen to me prophetically what what was unlocked tonight? Did, did, everybody, did, did everybody tap into the prophetic message? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. There is possibilities that's been waiting to be revealed to you in the secret place. And you can only get there by being spiritual. Say amen. amen. I walk in a very heavy gift of prophecy, and I really want to make sure everybody catches this. When I say this, your movement will be a reflection of your belief in God. I, I start to change faith in God because I started to know people act slow when we say faith. Because faith, though faith is the substance of things, hope for everything is uh, evidence of things not seen, a lot of times people act slow with spiritual things. And so I use the word, your belief in God, because it registers on a level of their uh, whatever. And so... If you believe in your God, when I tell you this, you're not going to have to register it. You're going to move because you believe in it. And pastors, I understand that we, we go through things. Say amen. amen. Where do you pastor? In Memphis. What's the name of your church? Soul Winners Church. I want to sow $1,000 into your church. So I'm giving you 2,500, I'm giving you 1,000, okay? Tonight, right now, all right? Because your heart posture, when you say yes to God, hello, Amen. when you respond to God, God will put you in your ministry on somebody's mind. It's simple. When you respond, some of y'all is gonna move slow in the offering because your faith ain't met your expectations. We want God to do stuff, but we don't want to believe he'll do it in a blink of an eye. Yes, do you not know right now you're in complication and automatically you got to change your mind posture. Some of y'all is posture to give. Yes, but from, a, from, from, from an angle of, of, of your position. But ain't no, you got a position also in your mind that the miraculous can happen and somebody can come and be a blessing to you. Yes, sir. sir, you did not know that the speaker was going to bless your ministry with a thousand dollars tonight. You don't know that. I know that's not a lot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and, 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 am I making any sense? 
what, what church you pastor, sir? I want to sow $1,000 into your ministry. So that's 2500 That's 1000 That's 1000 Man. Because what you make happen for people, what you believe, you, you, you never know who God, some of y'all in here right now, and God is still trying to adjust your faith. Please, get, get their cash app and stuff right now, please. So, please. Uh, it, or whatever they, get, they got so I can sow it before I leave this building. God is waiting for you to shift your posture. Some of y'all, the prophet is here, and automatically you started to get stiff because it's offering time now. Now, you skip over the fact that we was all just crying out to God, falling on the floor, worshiping God, <laughs> preaching and everything like that, and now we stiff. My God. So I want to break your stiffness by being the biggest giver. Hello? I want to be the I want to be the first partaker. Hello? I want to be the, I want to be the biggest giver. So I'm giving $4500 tonight. Sowing into your bishop and sowing into two of your leaders. Somebody say that's an example. Say amen. amen. Because if bishop, watch this. If I am going to watch this, if I am going to maintain my level of Increase that is coming. Yes, sir. I have to make sure I ain't afraid to cause increase to somebody else's life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not giving because I, I want y'all to think anything of me. Because Bishop is going to give me a nice little generous offering. And I'm going to get on the plane and go home. Say amen. amen. But it's not about that. I'm giving because the law of reciprocity. I have to be able to give out. I got to be able to be found sowing so that what God is causing to happen in my life can continue. Y'all yes, missing this. I'm, I am sowing into their lives because I need what's happening to continue. I'm going to say it one more time for redundancy. I'm sowing, Bishop, because I need what's happening. There's favor. I'm, no, I'm serious. People are people, strangers are walking up to me giving the prophet $100,000 almost every other week. No, I didn't say every other month. Every other week. So if, I, if that type of favor reside, exists in my life, then in order for it to continue, I got to be found giving. Yes, sir. Because to whom much is? Uh, much is? Come on here. How can I expect God to maintain my home, my car? Bishop came to town. You know, he, he talked about me all the time. He said, uh, Mr., I'm sick of your two suits you wear across the country. This is one of them. If you follow my ministry at all, I wear this, and I wear another suit that look like it. It's just blue and red across the country. And I don't care what nobody say. Because every time I swipe my car, it won't decline. Yes, sir. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I no, I'm serious. I only have two preaching suits. And I preach in them all across the world. If you buy them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bishop, that slipped out. I forgot I was in front of the saints. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I found out, I found out that I grew up, I grew up, we was only allowed to wear a black suit and a gray suit. The preacher. In, in, in our reformation. So the foundation that I received is that my ministry was bigger than my appearance. My ministry was bigger than my appearance. So, so it don't make me, see some of y'all you feel, uh, you feel that your appearance determines your anointing. So you try, watch this, to look to part. You try to look to part. So you look like what you don't carry. That's the problem. I don't want to look like what I don't carry. I want to carry and that determines how I look. I was in Oklahoma because Bishop 
took me off my vacation for my birthday. You know, I was in Puerto Rico with my feet in the sand. And flew back on my, because I was scheduled to stay two extra days. And flew back because when the bishop talked, I'd go. Somebody said, that's called being submitted. You got you to listen to somebody. You got to believe that somebody is leading you somewhere. And so, I only had enough clothes to preach one day. Because, you know, he told me I'm going to preach on his night. I'm like, I was planning on going back to Puerto Rico. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, I preached in my leather pants. Yes, sir. I saw he was so embarrassed. But when you carry what you carry, doesn't matter what you got on. Come on here, because I don't just look the part. The part is what I carry, and that determines how I look. Somebody say amen. And so I've learned that if I'm going to maintain my life prophetically, I have to be called giving. When I give, it keeps what's happening in my life happening. Yes, sir. Say amen. Went to Milwaukee. Doc, just the blessings of God. And the Lord told me a principle. Y'all can have it. He said, don't change because your net worth change. Wow. Stay what got you where y'all. Bishop came to Houston. I, I, I drove him around with his feet propped up in my car. I was chauffeur. I was his chauffeur. What? What not? Yeah, linked him back in my in my car. Because somebody said, "What is a prophet's reward?" That is a that is one of the most powerful, unanswered, <laughs> biblical statements that exists. Wow. Theologians battle on the actual context and meaning of if you give a prophet a glass of water, you receive a prophet's reward. But the problem is the Bible never really specify the reward. Y'all preach it and y'all be making up stuff. I said it. Y'all be making up stuff. The Bible never told you exactly what the reward of a prophet is. I believe, this is just my mind, and I know y'all got bigger minds than me. But as a prophet, I believe the reward is the lifestyle of the prophet. Wow. Wow. You bless the prophet with a cup of water, you receive the impartation of what his lifestyle yields. My, 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 my. Oh, shucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you bless, the, if you sow into this moment, you can rest assured that there's a return or a reward that's going to follow you by the time you get home. And the question is, what is that reward? What does my life produce? I don't care what nobody say. A, a real profit lifestyle have to meet the measure to be able to have a, watch this, a credible impartation into people's lives. So follow me home. If Bishop followed me home and I'm living in the shack, ain't got nothing, that's a problem if you call yourself a prophet. I don't trust a broke prophet. No, I'm serious. How you going to prophesy and tell me I'm going to be blessed and all this and ain't nothing happening in your life? That's why a lot of prophets don't have big churches. Because prophets, glory to God, wasn't designed to be kept in one place. I just installed, Bishop walked me through this, I just installed somebody at my church because I recognize it will never grow if I ain't got nobody there. Say amen. amen. So I had to get out of the, nar the, the, the narcissist in me and say, hey, I, I, you, gotta, you gotta run this because my first calling is to be the prophet. When I say this, nobody talking, please, silence in the house. When I say this, God says, if you question the prophet, if you doubt this moment, you won't get this moment back. I see some strong stuff for givers. I, Bishop, I feel like sowing a very large seed in somebody's life. But you know why? What is your name, sir? Joseph. 
Let me say this. Anytime God does something big in my life, he requires me to do something big in somebody else's. And some of y'all still ain't spiritual enough. See, some of y'all being carnal. Y'all not spiritual. Some of y'all first lady need to be praying, Lord, please help my husband be spiritual right now because we need that blessing. I don't know who he, who he looking at, but I hope that, hope that joke over there being spiritual, Lord. But pray for him right now. <laughs> One of the first ladies starts speaking in the tongue. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me say this. What if I told you it's, it's going to be just like that? You're going to walk into a moment. Pastors, please look at me. Look at me, please. You're going to walk into a moment just like that. Somebody's going to think of you. And, and listen, I know this is not a shouting. He's going to think of you. He's going to think of you when you have the kind of faith that is not questionable faith. It's sometimes you got to have blind faith. But let's take it elementary. Faith is small. It's a mustard seed. Move mountains. I'm going to say this one time. This is the instruction. I want you to come to the altar. Now, this is not just for the pastors. This is for anybody in this room. Bryson, to whom much is given, much is required. When I say it, you and your spouse, y'all move. Because I love you. I believe in you. And I want you to start moving on a different level of faith. And the Lord says, and in the next weeks to come, somebody's going to come and bless you and your spouse to finish remodeling your house completely. Completely. Somebody say complete. complete. Somebody say complete. complete. I'm going to say this one time, and y'all need to move. Every person that believes you are under an open heaven, and you ain't afraid, I want you to grab a seed of $500 without thinking. See, somebody need to be moving. Other people is doubting. And quickly, and I don't care if this line goes, I want you to get in this line right here. One behind the other. Quickly. Nobody, nobody's quickly. Quickly. Some of y'all still thinking. Do you not know, Bishop, God, the person that God put on my spirit to sow $10,000 in, they're still sitting down. And God said, that's why I can't trust you with what I want to give you. Because you're afraid to give me what's minute to you. Oh. One behind the other. This is not just for the pastors. I want somebody out there, you're an entrepreneur, you, you, you just a regular person, and you say, I believe God. And I ain't scared. Move now. Move now. Move now. Quickly. There's somebody in the choir. Move now. Quickly. Quickly. Quick. We ain't scared. We, come on, somebody in the choir. Somebody in the choir. Young lady, are, are you giving? What is your name? Let me ask you a question. What made you give? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Who church do you go to? Who's past the clock? He still should have been here. <laughs> you tell him I said it. He still should have been here. Um, but why are you sewing? It's going to last recently. Hold on. God's giving somebody time. You're in the... Quickly, God's giving somebody time. Woman of God... As you're moving to the to the to the to the to the to the out, listen to me. Stop moving. The Spirit of the Lord says, and this ain't gonna make sense. And I need you to trust God. Your life is maintained on faith. And so God said, because you have learned how to believe Him when you can't trace Him, God is then to what's three quadruple quadruple your income. That's four. Okay. okay, so quadruple. He's finna. He's finna cause your income to multiply by four. Then, okay, I'm finna tell you this. 
and it's gonna, it's, it's, this is going to put a lot of pressure on you, but it's going to release you into a whole other tax bracket. I'm going to say it out loud. The Lord told me to tell you, if you release a seed as close as you can, if you're not afraid of $5,000 into this jurisdiction, God is going to open up over 50 opportunities for you to make that being the tithe to what you're going to make. I want you to believe God and shift your seed. Move now. Shift your seed. Hurry. Young lady, you ready? Why are you sowing? You better go. Oh, shy. I like your pastor again. I didn't like him because he didn't show up, but I like him now. I hope y'all let me come back. I hope y'all let me come back. Can I come back, y'all? Please get in line. Get in line. Get in line. Now, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. There's three women. The Lord said, if you move right now, God's going to fix your problem before the morning. You move right now. God's going to fix it. You sow that seed right now. God's going to fix it before the morning. You sow that seed. I don't know who. You, you out there and you're, you're, you're debating. Yeah, yeah. But there, there's more. There's more. There, there's a th th Three is what you receive. It's not how many comes. It's who believe they're one of those three. God said he'll fix it by the morning. Quickly. Everybody else on the sound of my voice. And if you play with this, you'll miss God. Everybody else on the sound of my voice. If you cannot quite get 500, you better get, you got to be honest with God. And whatever your close is, that seed. Now, here's the thing, Bishop, and you got to allow me to do this, please. For those people, I'm going to personally touch your shoulder. And if I touch your shoulder and tell you, keep your seed, it's because you've lied to God. Because you've lied to God. I'm going to bring spiritual accountability in this house. Whatever your close is, whatever your close to that $500 seed, Everybody get up and get in this line right now. Whatever your honest close is. That means everybody ought to be moving because you, your close is whatever your close is. Quickly. Are we still streaming? Please put the camera on me. I want everybody that's watching me right now. Everybody that's watching. Nobody talking, please. Nobody talking. Every. Those that's watching me via live stream across the country, I want you to release whatever your close is. A move of God has taken place in this house, and I want you to sow whatever your close is. Ways you can sow, is it on the screen? Is on the screen. I want, and I pray for those that are giving right now a part of our virtual family. This is Prophet Marcus Thomas, one of the most notable voices in prophecy today. And I declare that whatever you sow, there's about to be a return. Everybody that's in here in the choir, wherever you are, everybody ought to be in line. Because whatever your close is, if it's one dollar, if that's your true close, get it and get in line. Quickly. And if you give it on credit card machine... You can see, what is his name? The, the man of God over there. Quickly get in line. Everybody. Let me sow these seeds. Jesus. No, I got your cash yet, Bishop. You said, Hanamashia. I believe God 
It's going to allow a million dollars to be released in my life. I just want to put that in the air. Some of y'all ain't said nothing, y'all. Y'all sound like y'all don't believe. If I was at my church, they'd be screaming real loud. Because we believe in affirmation. And we believe in declarations. Somebody say amen. Everybody's giving. Sir, you blessed me tonight. I love your spirit. Y'all clap your hands for him. What is your name? Pastor. Pastor Payne. Somebody say, God bless you, Pastor Payne. Somebody say, long live Pastor Payne. Yeah, I like Pastor Payne. Pastor Payne, you're going to be all right. And when you started dancing, I got excited. How much did I say I was going to sow Bishop into your life? 2500 That's what it was. All right. <laughs> Just want to make sure, confirm. Yeah, BB Porter 1. Please go through, Lord. Lord, please go through. Yeah, it's ego. Yeah, it's the will of the whatever. It, did, did I sow it? You did sow it. Okay. God bless you. Want to make sure. Now, what's, who else? Up? Is that the name? Okay. Well, how much did I say I was going to get him? <laughs> that preacher that lied in church. <laughs> so, uh, come on. Come put it in, preacher. Please. Put it in. I just feel like somebody need a blessing. I feel <laughs> who said who said amen? You did. Come here. <laughs> Come on, Doc. Did, did they get it? Don't make sure he don't change the number now. You, you look at what he's doing. Make sure he don't send two. Amen. No, don't press in. Let me press in. Now he's trying to take control of my money. <laughs> Pastor, you out of order. So, okay, let me. There it is. Lord, please go through. Okay. Did I sow it? Yes, sir, you did. Oh, I said somebody else. Yes, sir. Where did you mess up? Oh, go, uh, <laughs> I'm a, oh hold on. Let's go on, Dad. Put it in there, please. <laughs> that brother ready. <laughs> take my money. Um, you, yes. What church you go to? The, the pastor here? Is, is, he a, is he part of the jurisdiction? Okay. How long you been going there? I want you to... Who do, 2006. Not 96. Okay. Who do you bank with? You do? The Lord said next seven days, look at your account close. Oh. <laughs> All right, get back in line. Hurry up. This uh, that that's his. Yes, okay, that ain't the churches. That's the churches, right? That's the churches. Okay, Pastor, you need to, church need to get a cash app. Not to, who is Ernest Washington? Oh, yeah, we need your church cash app. We just want to. No, I'm, I'm I'm messing with him. Let him know. Oh, man, you done messed up. It says, I'm over my $15,000 sending limit. Ain't that what it say? Yes, sir. Okay, you got Zelle? No? Okay, I, I, talk to me after service. I'll give you some money. I got, you know what? I got, no, Bishop, I got, <laughs> I'll hold your seats in there, y'all. I love Bishop. We be, he be, he be getting me all off course. Love you, love you man. Hold the seat high. I got you, Pastor. Trust me, my word is really good. Hold your seat high. For everybody in this line, when I touch your shoulder, please don't be offended. I, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with God. So I'm telling you right now, if you are not being honest with God, change your seat right now and be honest. Hold it all the way up high. How long have you, what do you, how what position do you serve in this jurisdiction? Okay, awesome. Bishop, this man loves you. And because of your love for him, everything you need is going to be supplied. All right? When last time you went to the doctor? Two. 
hold it all the way up in the air. What church you go to, young lady? Say it again. Holy nation. The Lord says, That is that your church? He just showed me in the spirit. Yeah. That young lady gonna be your first millionaire in your church. And the louder y'all get. Somebody say the prophet don't miss. Somebody say real prophet don't miss. <laughs> Lift that seed all the way up in the air. There is a person right now, just one person. And you're a pastor. And you're saying prophet, I need the anointing to get wealth. And I ain't afraid to tell you. I need what's on your life brother prophet to fall on my ministry and my life. Listen, it's one of you and two of you may come. One of you will be disobedient but if both of you come and you saying prophet, you wasn't afraid to sow $4,500 into people's life. I want to come and change my seed to $4,000. If that person comes right now, there's a major blessing when they hit your life. If it's not you, Stop tripping. It ain't you. You ain't got to feel funny. But if that's you, I just want to lay hands on you. If you're going to obey God, I ain't looking at nobody. Don't want nobody to feel pointed out. But come stand right before me if that's you. Come now. Hurry! I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Come. Here's the thing. When you started walking, the other person was going to come. But your obedience allowed them to sit in their doubt. Who is this woman? Hey, wife, how you doing? God bless you. Like your color, your nails. Amen. Hold, hold each other's hand. Look at me. With what God has brought y'all through, you will never go back to those days. <clears throat> I'm going to say this out loud. And I'm not asking you to do it. I'm telling you to do it. The Lord says, because he's going to restore everything, and not just some things, according to your faith. Don't even confirm if you're going to do it. Just do it and tell me after service. I want you to release a seed of $10,000 into this jurisdiction. You hear me? Now watch this. Don't confirm it. Just do it. Lord said, not only are you going to sow $10,000, you are going to also sow $10,000 for your wife as a sign that you will never go back to yesterday. This is the start of your new life right now. So that's a total of $20,000 you're sowing into this jurisdiction before you go home. You know why? Because they have no idea. This moment just sealed several contracts. In your, oh shucks. This just sealed several contracts that's going to make you both notable millionaires. And y'all ain't even loud. Will you obey God? You're going to release that seed. And what's on my life falls on you now. Everybody make some noise. Hold that seed all the way up in the air. Repeat these words very loud. Because my giving matters. I believe God, I believe God. For, jobs. for jobs, better jobs, better. raises, raises. bonus.
furnishes, gifts, surprises, finding money, bills paid off, blessings, and increase. I'll never be the same another day in my life. Never, never, never. In Jesus' name. Listen, as quick as you have ever given, I don't care who you are, the Lord says you both need to release that as quick as you can tonight because your life just starts over right now. Everybody, as quick as you can, come and lay it at the foot of the prophet now as quick as you can. 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 Bishop has my birthday gift. Prophet, when you were speaking, you didn't know because it was in the secret place that I heard it. And the Lord had spoken to me and told me to bless the Johnsons before you call for this line. As you had said you were going to bless others, he had already told me to sow a seed into their lives. And when they came, it was the confirmation that the seed is to be sown. And I wasn't going to say anything publicly because I was going to do it secretly. But a seed is coming. Wow. Clap your hands. For a leader, bless you, woman of God. For a leader that's sensitive. Lay it at the foot of the prophet. Everybody is coming. Come quick, come quick, come quick. Come quick, come quick. Bishop, everybody in this line over here is nervous. They nervous. Don't touch them, Bishop. They better be honest. Supervisor, am I allowed to come back? All right, all right, all right. Quickly, quickly. Bless you. Quickly come, quickly come. Please, y'all come faster, come faster. Come faster, come faster. Quickly, 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 quickly come. Come, come on, come on, come on. Touch it, touch it. Touch it and move. Touch it and move. God bless you. What church you go to, sister? What church? What, what church you go to? I ain't going to touch your shoulder. What, what church you go to? Okay, all right, God bless you. I ain't going to touch you. I was just bother you. Did you sow your seed? All right, well, how much you sow? Don't worry about it. Go, go ahead. Quickly, quickly come. Come quickly. Quickly. Superintendents, administrative assistants, thank you for allowing me to come. Thank you. Clap your hands for the bishop's cabinet. Clap your hands for all the pastors. Thank you for allowing me to come. Thank you for allowing me to come. I hope you guys bring me back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you guys bring, quickly come, quickly come. God bless you. How you doing? All right, God bless you. God bless you. Quickly come, quickly, quickly. Bless you. Everybody online, I'm going to be right here at Unity Temple Church of God in Christ, right here in Jackson, Tennessee. God bless you. We're going to be right here and at uh, what time? We'll be here at 11 o'clock on tomorrow. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're going to be here Sunday uh, with Pastor, Pastor Hunt. Pastor Hunt, is he here? Okay, God bless you, Pastor Hunt. Did Pastor Hunt tell you what I asked for? Okay, he told you. Yeah, I asked Pastor Hunt. He said, Prophet, he called me. He said, Prophet, how can we accommodate you when you come? I said, who can make the best chitlins? <laughs> Ain't that what I said? I said? He said, that's what I want. I said, if they make good enough chitlins, I'll send you the offering back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want some chitlins and some rutabagas. Y'all don't know nothing about no rutabagas. Yeah, that's what I want. Hold on, let me pray over it, Doc, please. Let me pray over it. P put the money back on the thing. I'm trying to take the money real quick. Point your hands, everybody. Let us. You ready, brother? Y'all clap your hands for his faith. And he did release his seed of $20,000. Clap your hands for him.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord God. Bless us, keep us, cause there to be a return like never before. Lord, I declare and I decree that everybody connected to this jurisdiction shall be blessed like never before. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody behind daily mouth. Clap your hands for your man of God. My Lord. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody God but God. That's what Mother Paige used to say. We all keep praying for the prophet. I pray for unity. All Unity Temple members, y'all get on the phone and invite all your people out here in the morning. He will be back. I'm in Sunday morning. If, no, what is this? After 12, like I said. Amen. Amen. But on Sunday, <clears throat> and he'll be, if you want to take a drive, wherever you are, meet us at Greater Community on Palm Sunday night. We're going to believe God for an overflow there. Thank you for being patient tonight with the move of God um, it was different amen? amen but never give grudgingly or out of necessity make sure that you know that God wants you to do what you do you never ever please don't ever feel obligated to do what you don't want to do so nobody should have no attitude right you should only give what you feel led to give and I felt some kind of way about Pastor Johnson. I'll be just honest because I'm a pastor. You know, I'm, I'm sensitive about my people. But when God had spoken what he said and then he put you out, I said, good God, you're connecting all of this tonight. And so God can challenge us to do some strange things because he's got something bigger, better than we've ever seen before to come. Amen. Great faith, great results. How many of you believe that? Father, I thank you for their sowing, for their hearts, not just tonight, but all week long. Let none suffer for their faith, but we pray for increase and overflow. And the naysayers we rebuke who don't understand faith in God, but they understand trusting horses and casinos. But God, our trust and our faith is in you. And I thank you right now that you can do for us what the stock market cannot do because you speak to us in the secret place. Thank you for every word, every expression, every bit of praise in our celebration. Cover the saints as we have to drive far distances back home. Keep them alert and aware of dangers seen and unseen. In the name of Jesus, let traveling mercy be ours. Angels of protection cover us. And during this Holy Week season, let us see restoration and revival in our ministries and in our hearts. And God, the word tonight concerning prayer and travailing and consecrating and getting before you and in your face, God, let that resonate in our hearts the more so that we can personally seek you for what your will is for our lives. And we thank you. I thank you for every home represented, every ministry every business, every aspiration, every goal, every college student, every person, whatever their hearts desire, as long as they put you first, let those things come to fruition or to fruit in Jesus' name. Now, God, go with us as we leave this place, but never, ever your presence. Thank you, Holy Father, for Tennessee Central Jurisdiction Thank you for the legacy and the teaching of Bishop W.L. Porter and the love life of Mother Ida made a bail flag and for the many pioneers that have passed our way and deposited righteous thinking and righteous teachings into us, the many leaders that have gone on to glory. Thank you for stabilizing us, O oh God, and thank you for what you released in our hearts and how you revived our spirits and we do say yes, we do say yes, we do say yes.
we do say yes. Come here, Bryson. Come here, Bryson. Come here. Come here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We do say yes. We, are you telling God yes to ministry tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I accept my call to ministry. Yes, Come on, somebody. Praise God for my seed. Amen. I wasn't going to let that moment go by. You got at the workers meeting, at the ministry workers meeting, I just prayed the dismissal in Jesus' name. Go in peace and sin no more. Love, love you all. Be safe. Temperatures up, wheels up, time to travel. Whether you're catching a flight out of the country on business or you're taking a road trip across the country with the family, traveling is not a contactless sport. In all our traveling, let's be mindful of one another. While we're booking those flights, COVID-19 is still among us. Let's plan to be safe this spring. Get packed, get relaxed, get Vax Tennessee. For more information on where you can find vaccination and booster sites in your area, visit communityprojectinc.org. This project is funded under a grant contract with the state Summer of Tennessee. break is quickly approaching, and for our children, three months of no school is on the horizon. So many opportunities lie in store for them. Working part-time jobs, venturing out to amusement parks, hanging out with friends for hours on end, the world is their oyster. Even in 2024, COVID-19 is still prevalent. As we prepare our children for the summer, let's make sure that they are vaccinated against the virus. So mom, dad, and the kids can stay safe this summer. Give Vax Tennessee. For more information on where you can find vaccination and booster sites in your area, visit communityprojectinc.org. This project is funded under a grant contract with the state of Tennessee.